In the decimal column, we will inform the SPSS, the decimal point for each variable. We can move the decimal column to the right side of the name column so that you can see each variable with a decimal clearly. Gender is labeled as 1 equal to males and 2 equal to female. The number 1 and 2 are integer without any decimal point. So in this case, we will click at the end of the, at the right side of the box huh, for the decimal or gender. So we click it and we change it to, you can click the arrow to change it to 0. So we change it to 0. For age, the, lab, the number 1 is for below 20 years old, 2 is for 20 to 30 years old, and 3 is for above 30 years old. So the 1, 2, 3, the number 1 to 3 are also integer. So therefore, there is also no decimal point, as well as highest level of education, level as 1, 2, 3, 4, also integer. For section B, all of the five items are like a skill with the skill 1 to 5. And uh, section C, work motivation also 1 to 5. So all these are integer. And for section D, mathematics score and chemistry score are also integer without any decimal point. So therefore, all of the variables in this question A are integer with zero decimal. So in this case, we can we can right click the decimal zero and copy it. Then we highlight all of the right click and paste. So we get all of them, all the variables are labeled as zero decimal point. The next step is to label the value. Value is the most important column in this variable view window. So we highlight the value column and we move it to next to the name column so that we can see them clearly. For gender, gender label as one equal to male and two equal to female. So for value, we will label the category, each category in each variable. So for, for the category variable, we need to label their category. So for gender, we click at the end of the box. We click it at the right side. So the variable labels box will appear. So we type the number value one as male. We tell the computer that if we type one, then it is a male. So we click the button, the eight button to insert it into the box. Then we type number two as female. Then click the eight button to move it. So now we have labeled the two categories in gender. We click the button OK. So now we can see when we click the box, we can see the label eh, of the two categories. Then we move to the variable age. For age, age is labeled as 1 equal to below 20. So we click the box and we type 1 below 20 then 2 20 to 30 then 3 above 30 3 above 30 then we click the 8 button to move the mean and OK so now we have labeled it correctly now we will label the values for the next variable, which is highest level of 
education so with the name education so we click at the end of the box we type number one for certificate then we click the button A then we type two for diploma we click the button A three diploma and click the button A then the last one is four so four for others click the button A click OK then we have labeled the values for education which is highest level of education so we check it certificate diploma di so it is wrong certificate diploma and degree so number three is wrong so we, we click remove it then we can retype three degree then we click it so then we label all of them nicely now we move on to the section b emotional intelligence with five items so the label for the items are one equal to strongly disagree and so on so this like a skill we need to label the five categories for each item eq1 eq2 eq3 eq4 and eq5 so what we do is for EQ1, we click at the end of the box. So we will type the value one. We can go back to the Microsoft Word question A. So we right click and copy the strongly disagree and click it in the box of uh, label. Then we just right click and paste so we click the button 8 to label it then we type the number 2 then go back again to the questionnaire copy the degree then just paste it and click 8 type number 3 and go back again undecided then right click, copy, and paste it. A, number 4, agree, you can type, eh? but uh, in this case, you can also copy. Number 4, agree. Click A, then type value 5, then go back again to the questionnaire, and copy, and paste again. So edit. So now you have label all the five skill. Click the button. Okay. Then now you have label all of them. Huh? The five like a skill. Uh, the next step is to label the EQ2, EQ3, EQ4, and EQ5. For since all of them have the same skill, so we have we can right click and then copy so then we just uh, highlight the other four items then right click and paste it so now we have a label of them for the Likert skill with the same skill for motivation we will use the same method again eh? but the label for the skill are different eh? so you can see one is equal to very low, two is low, three is average, four is high, and five is very high. Eh? For section C, word motivation. So, uh, we go to the motivation. Eh? So, motivation one, item one, we just right click. For motivation item one, we click at the end of the box, we type one, and, and uh, we can type eh? very low. So we type it, then two low, edit three average, average, 
and four high and five very high click the button eight then click the button okay so to label it so using the same method right click and copy it and just highlight all the four items and right click paste it so now we have label all of them we have label all of the items of the 10 like a kill categories now we move to the section d the section d final semester score have two items so first item is mathematics score and second item is chemistry score these two items are continuous item continuous item have no category like one equal to two equal so for this continuous item we leave it as none in the value column so here we just leave it so now we have to label the value for all of the items these are the tips for labeling value for labeling categorical data as 1 equal to 2 equal to 3 equal to etc use number 1 to 3 and so on to label the categories in the variables it is not for variable with continuous data like score. At this moment, we have successfully labeled the name column, value column, decimal column, label column, and the type column. So these five columns, we have labeled them. For the name, we label their name in a single word. For the value, we label their categories for each variable. Huh? Okay. We label the categories for each variable. For decimal, we, we label the decimal point. And for the label column, we label the full term, the full name or statement for each variable. And for the type, we indicate that all the item in this question A uh, numerical so they are numerical data then the next column which is important is the measure we move the measure to the right side of the name column so we move it to here measure is actually the measurement skill of the variables so for example gender so gender for gender in this question a gender is labeled as one and two for male and female so this is a categorical data so in this categorical data there is no rank for male and female we can put one is equal to female two is equal to male or we put one is equal to male and two is equal to female so it's up to the researcher to set the value one and two here yeah. so there is no fixed rank for gender so it is actually a nominal skill data so what we do is we click at the end of the box and we select nominal so this to indicate that this is a nominal skill variable so gender is labor as nominal measurement scale. For age, when you look at age, it is labor as 1 equal to below 20, 2 is equal to 20 to 30 years old, and 3 is above 30. So we have three categories here. So but the categories are ranked from lowest age level to the highest age level so there is a rank there is a rank in order so therefore this is an ordinal skill data so ordinal data are categorical data which has rank for the categories either from 
the lowest to the highest or the highest to the lowest. So therefore, we click at the end of the box and we select ordinal. So this is an ordinal data. For education, highest level of education, level as one equal to certificate, two is diploma, three is degree, and four is others. In this case, we do not have a rank because for others, maybe the others is a primary school lower than, lower than certificate or is maybe higher than degrees. Maybe it is a master degree. So therefore, uh, we do not have a fixed rank. One, four is not the highest. So therefore, this is a nominal data. So we click education at nominal. So remember, when there are categories in a variables, then we need to see whether there is a fixed rank. If there is a fixed rank, from the lowest to the highest, then it is ordinal skill. When there is no thick rank, we will level it at nominal skill. Then we we'll move to the section B. Section B for emotional intelligence. The five items are in like a skill one to five with a thick rank, rank from the lowest to the highest, from the negative. Eh? negative opinion, strongly disagree, then disagree, then are decided, eh, then move to the positive, agree and strongly agree. This is certainly an ordinary skill because we have categories and we have a rank, eh? we have a big rank. So we click for the EQ1 at ordinary skill. Hmm? Then EQ2 ordinal skill. We also can right click on the ordinal and we copy it. Then right click and copy. Then we just highlight all the other three. Then right click and paste it. So we have all the five EQ items labeled as ordinal skill. For motivation one to motivation five, all of them are also like a skill. So therefore, we just highlight all of them and right click and paste it as ordinal as well. Now we move to the section D. So for the section D, uh, final semester score are continuous data. So in, in SPSS, continuous data are labeled as skill. For the measurement skill, are labeled as skill. So we just select the skill. So therefore, we have labeled all of the measure of the 15 variables. 